Here we have a JFY JSI 1500 TL inverter and you can see this on this one the green power light is on saying it's uh, operational um, I'll just press the button and made it go to a different setting and uh, it said that, so with the green power light on it it means the system's working correctly it's functionally normally there's no no alarm no faults but if we have a look at the PAC which is a power being output in AC right now it's 0.1 of a watt so it's not doing anything at all it's, it's not producing any power at all it looks like it's producing power but there's no actual power production happening whatsoever at the moment it's uh, about 2 p.m. in the afternoon on a, on a sunny day and uh, so I'd ex be expecting this 1500 watt system to be producing uh, at least 500 watts of power right now but yeah obviously 0.1 of a watt is nowhere near that now this is a problem where I've, I've actually seen a number of times with the JFI JFY inverters and uh, it is something which is covered under warranty so if it's happening to your inverter it, it will be covered under warranty but um, look what I recommend always first thing to do is try and reboot the system see if that uh, fixes any uh, issue you have so what we always do is follow the shutdown procedure to do that which is we turn off the solar supply main switch uh, that's always located in the switchboard or the inverter AC isolator so here we've got an inverter AC isolator so we're going to throw that off and then turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter so we'll just turn that one off and we'll let that system shut down now if your JFY JSI 1500 inverter or another JSI model, different size, is coming up with this uh, issue. Um, like I said, it will be covered under warranty, but a couple of if, if it's uh, within the five years since it was originally installed, it comes with a five-year warranty as standard. Now, a couple of things you need to make a warranty claim is you need to know the installation date of when the system was originally installed. And you'll also need the details of the model number and serial number. We, we know the serial number, the model number here is JSI 1500TL. And you can see on the side here, it's a JFY, it's a brand of inverter. Uh, see the AC output is 1500 watts, so that means a 1.5 kilo inverter. And there's the all important serial, serial number there, the uh, 1509 begins with. So uh, they're the, uh, the main, most important things you need. So look, that's uh, totally shut down now. We'll try and reboot the system. The startup procedure doesn't matter. It can be either the DC or AC first. So we're just going to throw the AC on and then the DC and uh, see if we get any change there. So the startup procedure on these things is usually a minute or so. So you see it's verifying grid and uh, 50 sec 55 seconds till it tries to start up. So it's still. How we go here so if your uh, JFY inverter is uh, having an issue like this and it has been installed longer than five years ago then um, and after you reboot it it's still coming up with the issue you are going to need to get the inverter either repaired or replaced at Gold Coast Sol we don't really recommend repairing an inverter which is out of warranty because you're just throwing good money um, onto something which still has no warranty so you may as well bite the bullet pay a little bit more get a good quality replacement unit which is going to have a full warranty so here we are five four three two one so let's see how we go here so you see that green light will go on constant now after it's been flashing trying to start up okay so there's a green light on constant but you see once again it says uh, the mode is normal, which is normal operating mode, but the PAC, the power being output right now, is still less than one watt. Oh, you see, oh, so it's got up to one watt, big one watt, but it should be producing over 500 watts in this case right now. So look, this is definitely an issue with the inverter, and this is going to be repaired under warranty. So look, if you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland and your JFY, JSI inverter is coming up with an issue like this, well, uh, get in contact with Gold Coast Solar, we're more than happy to help. Thanks very much and I hope this has been helpful.